Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Dalamon Jenkins. I'm with One People's Project, as you probably well know, since you're probably either looking at this on my Facebook page or on uh, the website itself, OnePeoplesProject.com. OnePeoplesProject.com. Okay, um, I'm here at the left form, just chilling out here at Pace University in New York. Um, I'm having a blast, y'all. I'm having a sheer blast. I participated in a panel about Black Liberation Theory, about how to um, basically move ourselves forward as a people not just as black people but as um, I would say in regards to that larger community out there and I made something very clear that you're probably gonna see because it was actually videotaped I don't know when or where the video is going to go um, but I made a point about that's gonna piss a few folks off out there that I just love pissing off so it don't matter I basically told the audience which was made up of um, not just black people, but you know, Hispanics, Muslims, white, all of us, brothers and sisters, just in fellowship, straight up. I basically said that we are the American Renaissance. And that's the real about that. We are the American Renaissance. These assholes out there that try to call themselves such or try to write um, newsletters calling themselves American Renaissance, and you know who you are, uh, y'all don't know the fucking meaning of the word. So. That's enough of my swearing. In any case, like I said, can you see I'm jazzed? Can you see I'm jazzed? I'm having a good time. I see my boy A. Shahid Stover over there just chilling out um, over at uh, the table for this group, um, ivytruth.com. ivytruth.com. It's basically about uh, the defense of Cote d'Ivory. Um, and, I, and I apologize if I did not say that name correctly, but most people... Um, who aren't um, focused on that part of the country will probably refer to it as the Ivory Coast. And there's a lot of interesting things that are going on out there. Hopefully I'll have somebody come by and talk about it. But if not, definitely check out ivytruth.com. Um, my boy Bob Fatrakis was here. Um, and Bob Fatrakis has been publishing a magazine called freepress.com. And uh, he's been doing that since um, 1991, 20 years, baby. As you can see, and this, is, this article is going to be on One People's Project about what's been happening in Ohio in regards to the union, um, union struggles out there. I mean, we've, we've been talking about Wisconsin. We've been talking a little about Ohio. So I want to bring, um, I'm actually trying to get a Shahid over here, but I don't think he sees me. But I just want to say that... Um, they're most definitely folks that you need to um, keep an eye on because Ohio is blowing up because if you think Scott Walker is a scumbag, what makes John Casey so much of a scumbag is that we knew that he was a scumbag before he became governor. I mean, I protested outside his house back in 95 because he was one of those idiots congressmen that supported the School of the Americas. So. Here we are, 16 years later, and he's governor of Ohio. And he's making a mess of the place. He's only been there for two months, and he's making a mess of the place. I mean, there's something about this story that you guys need to know. So check that out. You know what? Um, let me just make it clear, because Bob was here earlier, and he thought that the camera was on. And being that this is the first time I've, been, I, I've used a webcam, really, I didn't know that I didn't turn it on. Sorry. In any case, he has um, these books here. This is What Happened in Ohio. He wrote this about the 2004 um, election and the things that went on in Ohio that a lot of people to this day think are pretty shady, which is why he also recommends this book was the 2004 presidential election stolen. It is 7.06 right now, but let me go say, say straight, straight up. Um, I would say definitely pick up both these books. Um, there's other things that are going on right now, and um, I will keep you posted on all of that as soon as I get the opportunity to do so. Um, I'm going to be here tomorrow, today's Saturday, and uh, I did my part, but now it's time for everybody else to get some love in on here at uh, the, left, the Left Forum. And just so you know, 
I was told, well, I was told, hell, I kind of surmised that uh, some of the scumbags from Youth and Western Civilization were going to be showing up. Probably doing a little infiltrating, probably doing a little hitting video shit. But um, don't know if they're here. Don't know if they um, were actually even talking about the left arm when um, Kevin Deanna made the call to uh, to come out today, to come out to New York City this weekend. Hopefully he's somewhere else taking in a Broadway play or some shit like that because uh, if I see him here, if I see anybody that I recognize that, let's just say, doesn't belong, I'm going to introduce them. Oh, speaking of introductions, um, I have a flyer. <laughs> um, the flyer that I just gave out is this. Uh, that's you might some of y'all right there might be familiar with the uh, asshole that dressed up as a pimp and um, went after Acorn with some doctored video and also went after NPR with some doctored video and got folks from NPR fired and folks from uh, basically caused Acorn to uh, file for bankruptcy. That's him right there. And right there is a gentleman by the name of Jared Taylor. Jared Taylor is the publisher of the aforementioned American Renaissance. And he believes that black, among other things, that black people are genetically inferior. Yeah, we're just dumb. Not so dumb that we can't shut down his conferences two years in a row. But, you know, that's how it goes. Without him figuring out how to stop it, you know. I guess his white power didn't work these past two times. I don't know. But still. Um, in any case, we put this flyer out um, just to let people know exactly where it is these scumbags are coming from. This was a white supremacist forum back in 2006. And uh, they raised the whole he went to cry about um, how it wasn't a white supremacist forum because there was a black man that was running it. I mean, running it, I'm sorry, a black man that was on the panel and uh, a, a, a Korean man organized it. Uh, we have learned over time that that don't mean shit. But that's another story for another time. In any case, I'm going to leave you at this because this flyer is going to be on a number of seats in the next few minutes. Because it is 7.09 and at 7.30 at the Schimmel Theater, I am going to be sitting on a panel, well, not on a panel, but in the on a workshop called The Tea Party and the Media. And uh, I hope it will be a good event. I'm sure it will be.